Normally I would not use my YouTube channel for political purposes, but exceptions can be made and this is one of them. YouTube and politics don't exactly go hand in hand for charming viewership, but in this case, fuck it. I have this outlet and I'm going to put it to good use. On Friday the 25th of May, the people of Ireland will be casting their votes on repealing the Eighth Amendment in our constitution. I will be voting yes for a variety of reasons. If you're Irish and watching this, you'll more than likely have heard these reasons over and over, but these need to be reiterated as I do feel strongly about them. Abortions are already happening in Ireland, but without medical supervision and in unsafe environments. The women have to go abroad to get the healthcare that they need, which, to me, is not fair because they should be treated with compassion in their home country. When you think about it, it makes us look pretty bad as the visual seems to represent us exporting our problems to other countries, which should not be the case. This country needs to wise up and respect its women and to take care of them in dire circumstances should they make the choice to have an abortion. The new legislation being proposed will make the procedure safer, where the patients will have medical supervision, where they will be treated with the compassion that they need. It is absolutely none of anyone's business to be deciding the fate of a pregnancy, except for the mother that is carrying the child. Let the partner have a say too, but ultimately, that's the reality. I find it utterly disgraceful to hear the verbal abuse that surrounds these women, leading them to shame, fear, and negative mental health. That's not on. We are better than that. Choice, bodily autonomy, those two go hand in hand. You decide what happens with your own body, end of story. The women of Ireland should not be seen as second-class citizens when it comes to making that choice. The women of Ireland deserve better than to be shunned by their own country in these circumstances. Guys, this might sound potentially daft to some of you, because this is a male speaking here. I will never know what it's like to experience what a woman feels during a pregnancy. I won't. But here's what I do know. Having a choice is a basic, fundamental human right that no one should be without. That I know all too well. And the Eighth Amendment is currently inhibiting that choice. And in the 35 years of its existence, it has left a lot of damage in its wake. And I would personally be quite frightened if it stayed that way in the future. Guys, I have the pleasure of knowing so many fantastic women in my life. My mother, my sister, my grandmothers, my aunts, my cousins, my teachers, my friends. I'm just going to say what I said to myself a few years ago when I voted yes for marriage equality. And every day since, I might add, we're all human. No higher or lower, no better or worse, just equal humans. Guys, the way I see it, the no crowd, now not all of them, but the most vocal that I have seen online and on TV, the way I see it, they're trying to break into a metaphorical jewellery store in search of one particularly special jewel. The problem is that it is surrounded by an invincible barrier. That's choice. That is unrobbable no matter what the circumstance. Now guys, there is a part of me that is open to the arguments that have been posed by the no crowd. And I absolutely 100% respect their right to vote and their right to choice. But I cannot, in good conscience, agree with the collective viewpoint because at the, at the end of the day, if the no crowd win by majority and this amendment stays in place, so too will the restrictions on women looking to have abortions in dire circumstance. It's unrobbable no matter what the circumstance. Leo Varadkar has made it very clear that there will not be a second referendum on this amendment. And you know what that means, guys? It's time we get shit done. 
It's time that we make change happen. It's time that we got out there and vote. Let us evolve for a braver and safer Ireland. No more running away from the problem. No more restrictions on human and reproductive rights. For the women of Ireland, including those who are voting no, I am proudly voting yes. Repeal the 8th.